God, as the list of names of people who die by people who say that they love them, our hearts are broken. There are parents, there are brothers or sisters, there are children, boys and girls, who every day they wake up and they have such a hole in their heart because someone they love was taken from them by someone who sent them up. God, I, I just pray that in some way, you, the God of comfort, will bring comfort. I, I pray for this in Jesus' name. God, I ask for forgiveness. I ask forgiveness for pastors and churches who have not really taken a firm stand the way that they need to against domestic violence. I pray for men who say that they love their wife or they love their, their, the one that they're, they're with and, and out of their selfishness when they can't control the situation, they don't show love, God. I ask God for a time that we as a people in our nation repent of our sin for not taking a, a more firm stance and not really, really reaching out to people who are in a domestic violence situation. I pray for women tonight. There are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of women all across the United States. There are thousands of women in Indiana who live in fear. They don't know what's going to happen. They don't know what, what's going to happen even through the night. And I, I, I thank you, God, that you tell us that we, that we do not need to be afraid because you're with us. That we do not need to be discouraged. And this is a promise that I claim for every woman that lives in this fear. Because you're a God and you promise that you're going to strengthen and help us and uphold us with your righteous right hand. I pray for women. I pray for women who, who are, who just really want to get out of a situation, but financially they don't know how they're going to be able to do it. And they live in that bondage. I pray, I pray God that some will have the courage to, to be able to take a step, to be free from the bondage that they're in, that they can really be free. I pray for us, for every one of us, that we can have compassion and we can reach out with resources to help people who, who are afraid and to reach out and to help them to find a way that they can escape the hurt that they're in. God, you never, you never called us to live a life of hurt. You want us to live life abundantly. And I thank you that that's exactly what you have for every one of us. And so I pray for all those who are victims of domestic violence. I pray for their children. I pray for the young people right here, right now, who might be in a dating relationship in which they're being controlled by, by the person that says that they love them. And God, I pray that they'll have the courage to get out of that relationship before it's too late. And I thank you in Jesus' name.